De vaandeldragers van de Italiaanse metal staan hier naast mij, Lacuna Coil. 21 jaar zijn ze al bezig en nu staan ze op Grasprop. Andrea, Christina, welcome. How are you doing? Thank you. We're doing fantastic. Thank yeah. you. You just told me you flew in, you slept, you're going to fly back, fly back. Uh, so it's very hectic for you guys. Very hectic. We have we actually left to Milano yesterday night at around three from our houses and we flew in very early this morning. Okay. Show, press, photo shoot. We will not look fresh, but who cares? That's rock and roll. Yeah, we're That's rock and roll. Rock anyway, so yeah. ready to rock. But after 21 years, you're kind of used to that schedule, aren't you? Yes, it, you kind of try to to keep the energies when you can rest a little bit more, so you can squeeze them when you don't really have time to yeah. to rest. You know, it's a question of balance. So we kind of learned during the years to yeah. to deal with it. Yeah, I read that you're working on new songs. Uh, it's going to sound a little bit different, of course, because Pizza, the guitarist, is, is gone. So you need, yeah, how are you going to solve that problem? It's going to be different. I mean, we have a slightly different lineup because we have a new drummer. We're going to be working with one guitar only. So everything will be more straight to the point. Heavier, we're going to be using like a lot of more uh, electronic arrangements. Very weird, it's going to be very mystique, dark. Uh, we're still deciding a lot of details so, so it's hard to tell you exactly how it's going to sound like but so far from the demos it sounds like a definitely a different phase of Lacuna Coil. Now there's a large fan base uh, of coilers as they call them whenever you uh, release something or say something or have some news for them for uh, the new music and the way it's going to go how do they react because now with the, yeah, with the new songs it's going to go in a different way do you know do you get some reactions on that? It's always different with us because we kind of change a little bit every time you know so we always get the, maybe some people disappointed in the first time and then they listen to it and they like it and some other that they love it right away you know the people that is more open-minded they're gonna like it the people that it takes a little bit more to get used to the new stuff they don't like it in the beginning and then they come so that's the characteristic of our band we has always been like that there are also a lot of fans who, who get some tattoos from lines out of texas or for lyrics of uh, lacuna Coil. What's the weirdest tattoo that you ever have been sent uh, from a fan? Well, I kind of think like a weird one, but probably the first one that really impressed me, it's when I saw a girl who tattooed like my face on the old calf. It was like the old leg, so for me it was something absolutely new. It was one of the very first tattoos that I've seen on myself, so knowing that this person is so loyal, so into our music, so into me that it's insane that somebody wants a tattoo to you know carry a picture of me on her forever yeah. it's very flattering you know and it was kind of shocking at first but i realized how incredible our fans are and how much our music means to them sometimes we don't realize